Stop it. Can't we just be friends? Why are you so mean anyway? I didn't even take anything from your- Oh god, he jumped on my head. Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase. And today, we are going to take a look at the Goblins mod. It adds in a ton of goblins into Minecraft in this really cool village they spawn in. This is probably the most important part, so I feel like I should show it first. You can see all their little houses here. And probably the most important feature is their totem pole. What you're going to want to do is grab all these blocks and you can use it to craft some really cool stuff. Like weapons. And they have like cool abilities too. And in this place, you're going to see a ton of goblins, all different varieties. There's miners, dudes with axes, shamans, chieftains, rangers. And the reason you're going to see so many is this. There are spawners in the village. And guys, these dudes are aggressive towards you. You can't just walk in here thinking you can come in and grab all their stuff. They're going to freaking kill you. He's giving me the evil eye right now, and I'm in creative. So beware when you enter. And since there's spawners, there's going to be like 500 like this. Um, there are a lot of chests. In here, you're going to see um, various items. Nothing like super important. You can see in this one, there's a bunch of stone. Because it's like the miner's place. Got their little like mine going on over here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, there is a lot to actually check out. A bunch of chests in the place. I think most of the buildings actually have them. This one's got like a brewing stand. It's got a cauldron. Some cool stuff you can grab. Oh, and by the way, these can only spawn in the plains and in swamp biomes. I'm trying to like check around. See if there's any more chests to look at here. There's so many dudes around. You really do get slaughtered, guys. I did come in and I tried to go into survival. And like, I had 100 dudes attacking me at the same time. This one's a bomber. That is awesome. He throws bombs at you. And in here, you can actually get some bombs to throw. It's a pretty cool item. There's even a golden apple and some food. So yeah, that's about all there is to show with the village. They all pretty much look like this. It's kind of cool. I like the totem pole. I think it looks awesome. You gotta grab these and steal it from them, though. Yeah, they all are looking at me. It's freaking me out. So guys, now we'll go over the mobs, and I'll show you like the stuff you can make as well. So guys, there is a ton of goblins. I showed you most of them, but there actually are a few more that just didn't happen to spawn there. So now what I'm going to do is fight every single one so I can show you guys exactly what they do. Alright, here we go. So the first one, yeah, let's start with the goblin chief. Start with the most difficult one. And I made a little arena here so we can like fight it out. Alright, here we go. So the first one is the goblin chief. He's got 70 health. He's extreme. He's kind of quick, actually. Stop it. Can't we just be friends? Why are you so mean anyway? I didn't even take anything from your... Oh, God, he jumped on my head. Ooh, that was like perfect timing. Did you see that hit? But he does like jump into the air sometimes and is definitely a tough opponent. But he did drop a golden apple, which is pretty cool. But yeah, beware. Those dudes are crazy. I didn't even take anything from him and he's attacking me like a psychopath. All right, so the next one is the Goblin bomber and obviously he throws bombs at you should have done that one last I'm gonna break everything all right here we go that's the goblin bomber hello oh god okay there's the bomb he killed himself and me all right so yeah that's a good example they are suicidal but he killed me as well so guys he did drop some bombs which obviously makes sense he only used one so he had to have a lot left over and i believe some flesh as well and yeah, you can eat this. I'll show you guys it after. Drop four bombs. Not too bad. So if you want to fight a bomber, don't constrict yourself to a small arena. You're going to blow up. And at least it'll kill him too. He died. He died in one hit from his own move. All right, the next one is pretty cool. The Goblin Rider. And oh, he's not on the thing. He was on a wolf before. I saw one in a village. We're going to have to figure that out. But yeah, when you see him in a village, they're actually riding on like an evil wolf. I'll definitely show you guys one. The next one is the Goblin Ranger. You saw a ton in the village. You know, they've got a bow. You gonna fight me? Alright, there we go. So I'm gonna fight you with a bow as well. They're really not too bad if you have some armor on. I've got full iron on right now. Just to like show you guys exactly, you know, what everything does. But the real issue is when you're in town, there's like 50. There's not one dude with a bow that does like half a heart of damage. There's 50 dudes that do half a heart of damage and you die in one hit. And of course he drops some arrows. As probably expected. Alright, the normal goblin, you know, he's got an axe. He hits you with it. It's just, you know, wooden axe. Not too difficult. And he drops some flesh. Alright, this one is the miner. And you see them, like, in their mine. It's kind of cool, like, in their town. A little bit stronger. And he did drop some coal, too. All the next ones are actually pretty difficult. This one is the goblin ranger guard. 
I die. They attack kind of slow though, like luckily. <laughs> oh man. All right, and he dropped some flesh and some arrows, and this is a soldier. And yeah, I saw some of these in town. Not too bad. I almost knocked him out of the arena. He dropped some leather and some flesh. And this one's actually really cool. The Goblin Shaman. I'm going to throw a potion on real quick before we start. He does some kind of move on the ground. I saw one spawn in one village. And it like puts like really bad slowness on you. I thought it was cool. Alright, here we go. He's got 70 health. Ooh, there he did it. And look, I have slowness 3 on me. And he teleports all over the place. I have no idea where he went. Where did you go? So yeah, fighting these guys is not easy. Oh, I'm... Oh, come on. He's everywhere. It did say on the page that, like, fighting them, you can't actually get to them on time. It's impossible. So I think you need a ranged weapon to actually take these dudes out. I actually hit his thing. He's right in front of me. Oh, my God. This one is going to be rough. So, yeah, the Goblin Shaman is making... Is he making, like, the gas noise? He is pretty difficult. He teleports so much. Plus, he puts slowness on you, making it, like, impossible to actually, like, get to him. But with some kind of bow... You can definitely take him out. Plus, there's some cool weapons in the mod you can actually, like, use against him, too. Which I'll show you guys after I finish off this damn shaman. Stop moving. Stop moving. Right in the face. All right, he's dead. Wow. That was really hard. I think he might actually be the hardest one. And he did drop a golden apple, just like the chief did. So, guys, what I did is I put down the rider spawner instead, and that is them. A little bit stronger. Should we fight one? They're both going to go after me. All right, here we go. Before I'm killed... Oh, my God. I probably should have healed myself or something. <laughs> but, yeah, this is definitely more of a challenge. Especially if there's a spawner like this. You probably don't want to go about it like this. Oh, my God. I'm so going to die. So, I am just going to run away. So, that is how they spawn. They're actually pretty tough. If there's a spawner, you know, multiple will attack you at the same time. What is a pig doing in the arena? He wants to fight. Oh, he's stuck in the stuff, too. That's pretty funny. All right, so now we're actually onto the totems. And the totems themselves don't actually do anything. They do look cool, though. I might, like, collect extra ones, like, for your house or something like that. It might be cool. All right, so the totems. You can just take these and you use them in a crafting table. And it makes, like, special powder. And pretty cool. You need this powder for a lot of cool stuff, which I'll show you guys after. They all do exactly the same thing here. These mobs are spawn... I'm going to get rid of this spawner. You guys are really annoying right now. All right? I hear, like, the wolves growling. All right, so we're on to the orbs, and there are four different ones. The lightning orb. Actually, really easy to make. It's, like, glass and lightning powder in the middle. And this one, explosive orb, they're all, like, exactly the same thing. Glass, explosive powder. Nature one, nature powder. And the force orb, mystic powder. They, like, tricked you. It's not force powder. So, yeah, these are actually weapons, so it's really important, like, you, you know, get these totems, bring them home, and uncraft them into these materials all right so i'm gonna spawn in some dudes here some of these riders all right so this one i'm gonna use the force orbit like shoots them really far back how awesome is that did he die from that where did he go oh there he is all right come back here so yeah that is awesome because it launches them so high can i do it to the cow too will you survive that is sick so yeah awesome fall damage on it and it's just an epic weapon let's get a bunch of these I have, like, so much fun with, like, all this kind of stuff. I'm, like, playing golf. Oh, man, he landed right on the skull. All right, so the next one is the nature orb. It actually does do damage, but, um, it's not really for that. If I hit him with it, it does six damage. And the thing is, if you use it on the ground, it grows like a tree, which is pretty cool. So you can grow trees around you. I think that's awesome. Like, if you really need some, you, you know, you don't feel like planting one automatic tree all right so the next one is the explosive orb and apparently they want me to use it on them come back to the arena all right here we go that is probably what you expected it to do that's right it's freaking awesome so yeah you can blow up your enemies with this like basically a bomb it's it's basically a bomb it kills everything it's freaking cool and i even like i even destroyed like my arena with it and the last one the lightning orb it actually does do, like, a lightning attack, but sadly, there is no, like, animation of lightning coming down from the sky. But it does do, like, the same effect anyway. Let me spawn a few more here. All right, lightning orb. Target him. You hear the lightning, but you don't see it. Kind of sad. I hope they add that in. It just makes it so much cooler, you know, to actually, like, see the lightning, like, coming down from the sky. 
So guys, there actually are quite a few more weapons in this mod. All right, here we go. So the first one, the arcane staff. And to make it, you need an arcane crystal and two sticks. And to get this, same thing. It's like two of the powder right next to each other. And bam, arcane crystal. Lightning staff, same thing. Lightning crystal. Teleportation. You actually need the arcane staff and a nature crystal. For the scepter of life, you need a nature crystal. For the bombs, two stone and gunpowder. Plus, you could like find these in the villages and the bombers actually drop them. And the flame blade, two fiery crystals. Alright guys, I spawned in an ample amount to test these weapons on. First one, Arcane Staff, really doesn't do too much. It's like 6 damage and a cool ranged ability. Second one though, Lightning Staff. Alright, let's get some range on these dudes. How awesome is that? I like killed the whole army of them in one hit. Alright, Teleportation Staff does exactly what this staff does in like a thousand other mods. So, you know, you right click and it teleports you in that direction. So pretty simple to use. This one, the Scepter of Life. It like grows plants and stuff. So this one, um, not the same as the one that grew the trees. Instead, growing like your plants and your grass and stuff like that. And this right here is the Flame Blade. When you attack with it, it lights your enemies on fire. Which is pretty cool. And you guys already saw the bomb. It was like a catastrophe in my face before. But yeah, you throw one down. Did that hit him? What happened? That was weird. Let me spawn a couple more. I heard like an arrow. I saw him take damage. I saw something happen there. Alright, here we go. So yeah, it actually hurts him if you hit him with the bomb too. Then it blows up and pretty much kills everything. <laughs> hit him in the face with the bomb. It's like double damage. And there we go. So yeah, this is actually a really cool weapon. And it's pretty easy to make too. Alright guys, there are a few more items to check out. In the first one, you saw it a bunch of times. Goblin Flesh. And if I eat this... Like, I think it gives you some hunger. Let me check here. So, yeah, it gives you some hunger, and it has a chance of blinding you. It didn't blind me that time. Let's see how my luck is. Didn't get blinded. Awesome. I think I can keep eating it until I get blinded. All right, there we go. So, yeah, it has a chance of blinding you. Like, the first time I ever used it, I just assumed it just blinded you. I was like, why would I eat this? But, yeah, kind of cool. It's like rotten flesh, except it has a chance to blind you instead. So, yeah, there is some TNT in this mod, too. There is enchanted TNT. Stronger than normal TNT to make it TNT plus explosive powder and you actually get three which is a pretty good deal in my opinion Three TNT so I'll grab this and there's also arcane TNT even more powerful You take the enchanted one and put mystic powder next to it to get this purple TNT All right, I'll grab these and the flint and steel and I'm gonna switch you know to, to game mode one here I don't feel like killing myself last second and I guess that's pretty much it in the mod so I am going to Place it down right here and blow it up. All right, let's check this out, guys. This one is not the most powerful one, but pretty strong. That's a pretty good explosion, like Apple Falls. All right, so now for the larger one. Everything is going in my arena. What is wrong with them? All right, so I'm going to place it. Can I place it in the village? All right, let's do that. I want to see, like, what it does to the village here. Arcane TNT. I'm going to put it, like, right next to the totem. And, yeah, this one is pretty powerful. It's not, like, amazing, like, in a TNT mod. But it's pretty strong. And <laughs> there's like no village left. The village is gone. So yeah, some pretty cool stuff to mess around with. There's a brand new village in the mod. And some very cool weapons too. If you guys want to check it out, of course the download is in the description. And if you guys enjoyed the review, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed. It really does help me out. And I will see you guys next time for another mod video.